Hello everybody, welcome to another chat from the engineering desk. Today we're going to be looking at a little electrical circuits kit which comes with these components and a few examples of uh, circuits to build. So What we're going to do is build this together and play with it rather than uh, in my previous videos where I pre-assembled them and reviewed them. Today we're going to do some live experiments. So let's go through what we've got here. We've got two batteries. We've got two light bulbs. We've got a nice switch. And we have the little electric motor with a fan blade fitted to it. <clears throat> what they have supplied us with is a set of wires to make connections with. I've got a multimeter over here because we're going to do some measurements as well. So, set those aside. So, starting with the basics. Um, and let's leave it on 20 volt scale. Like that. Okay. You know, as can see, all right. Let's take a measurement of a fresh battery that's one and a half volts okay that's a normal AA battery what we're going to do is take a wire connect them in series so what we're going to do is connect the positive To the negative these two batteries positive on the positive negative on the negative and take another measurement and now we have three volts so you have one and all volts there yeah, one and all volts there. Give me a total of three volts. <clears throat> so now let's take one out of circuit. That connected. Let's try running a light bulb. So we're going to build a little circuit here light bulb live switch so what we need to do the current needs to go through there through the light bulb through the switch and return to the other side of the battery so let's get this wired up so what we do is we pull and pull upwards on these springs and separate and you just push the wire in the color of the wires doesn't really matter at this stage so take that one put it in there and Need our last wire. Now I'm going to open the switch. And now, connect the last wire. Underneath here, they connected to the posts. Now, 
tachyometer once again. We've got no voltage across the light bulb. Now supply. And we have voltage across the switch. So, closing the switch, the light bulb has come on. This glowing dimly. So, there we have voltage across the light bulb. Let's turn that off again. Now, let's see what happens if we increase the voltage. So I'm going to connect that battery in series with this one. So, what I'm going to do. Bring in this one. Move the wire to its positive terminal. Take one of these. And get it connected over there like that. Right, so from there, the circuit goes like that to your switch, to your light bulb, back to the battery. So these two batteries are known series positive to negative, positive out, negative out. Let's measure our voltage again across the switch 3 volts. Now Got a nice bright light bulb now. And there we have a higher voltage across it. Now you notice that that three volts if I measure here. Notice it drops a bit. That's because of the current flow through the batteries. And the battery voltage drops a bit because of the internal resistance of your batteries. So, what should we do next? Let's get two light bulbs to light up. How about that? So, Taking this once again, we now have two light bulbs in parallel. So when I close the switch. They're both going to light up. That's light bulbs in parallel. Now let's connect them in series and see what happens. So what we do is we take this wire. Connect it to there. Take that one out of there. Now we have current flow through one light bulb and through the next light bulb. Close the switch and see what happens. Notice that the light bulbs are now dimmer. Of course the light bulbs have slightly different resistances. The voltages across them are different. However the current through them is the same at this stage. When we had them in parallel, the voltage across them was the same, but the current was different because they don't have exactly the same resistance. And I can prove that. What I'm going to do is disconnect that wire and with 
with a little bit of luck I might be able to measure the resistances let's just take this out my wire is finding its way around so Point eight three, point eight four. So that light bulb, if I remember, was a bit brighter. Let's recheck that. Yes, that hot light bulb's got a higher resistance, so it burns brighter. So that's light bulbs. Disconnect that. And that one. Set those aside. Now over here, what I'm going to do. Let's play with the motor. Let's see if we can get this hooked up. In the springs. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing there. Try staying short. So. Now that's one and a half volts across that motor. Let's see if we can get that fan to spin a bit faster. Now what do we want to do? Is check up polarity. So positive to negative. do that go spins a lot faster now and yeah we've pretty much gone through the worked examples We ran two in series, then we ran two in parallel and we took some measurements. Okay. That's just the packaging. And there we have a simple little demonstration of a few basics of electrics. We saw what happens to current and voltage when you have those in parallel and in series what happens to voltage when you have batteries in series now I think that pretty much wraps it up here there's our wires and it's basically our entire kit laid out here well, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. Hope it motivates you to build your own. I wish you a wonderful day further. We'll see you for the next one. Cheers.